Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set PayPal up to your shop. It's pretty simple. You just click here on Modules. And then we're going to scroll down here to Payments and Gateways. And um, we're going to come down here and uh, you'll notice a lot of these are X'd off. And these bank wire, I don't want to do bank wire. So I can see this is installed. So I'm going to go ahead and uninstall this bank wire. And then I'm also going to uninstall this check one. There we go. So now I've got all these uninstalled. And money bookers, uh, I don't want to use them either. So I'm going to uninstall them. Okay, now here's what I want. PayPal. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and install that. And then I come down here and underneath it now I've got disable, reset, and configure. So I'm going to go ahead and click the configure button. Okay, and this is all good to go right here. So I'm just going to leave this here. I'm going to click this tab right here, the settings. Now this sandbox mode is very important. If this stays on active, your store will throw an error every single time you try to check out. This will totally break your checkout process. So you want to make sure that this is on inactive. Okay, direct sales is where we want to go. Okay, and then we're going to put our PayPal login. So this is the email that you actually go to PayPal and log into when you log into your account. So for us, we're just going to put email at email.com. Okay. And then we got API username and API password. So this info right here is something that you get inside your PayPal account. You have to log in. And also you do need a PayPal business account. You might have a PayPal personal account uh, and you could probably upgrade that to a business, but a business account is free. It's just when you sign up with PayPal, they'll ask you and you want to check business because this does not work with personal ones. So when you have a business account, you can go on. Now, here is a link right here in your shop. You'll find it right in this section. Click on this link and it opens up a YouTube video that explains exactly how to get these codes from your PayPal. Okay. Once they explain that, you get those codes, you copy, you paste them in these areas, you click the save settings button and you're all good to go. This logos and personalization, uh, this is not really necessary because our store throws a logo up there anyway. But if you want to put a logo in here, um, there is a way to that we do have a secure logo. Uh, email us at sales at the website exchange .com. But for the most part, before you mess with this, just go ahead and, and, and skip this part of it. And after you get this part done, go ahead and, and go on your website and try buying something to where you get to the PayPal page and you'll see how your logo looks. And um, let us know if, if we could. Uh, help you with that and and give you the link for your personalized logo for security reasons we're not going to put that on here now but uh, we can help you if you contact us okay and that's it that's all it takes to set up your paypal pretty simple quick process um so thank you and check out some of our other videos